This is Jennifer Mason. I am a SharePoint Server MVP, and this is a video series that we're doing around uh, managing permissions in Office 365 for SharePoint Online. Um, in this session, we are going to look at how we can create new users in the admin portal and add them to existing SharePoint groups. And we are also going to look at adding external users to collaborate with us on our SharePoint Online sites. Okay. We're going to talk about the different types of permissions, and then we're going to do a demo on how to actually grant those permissions. First up, we have um, internal users. Those are users that have um, user subscription licenses, and we create those in the admin portal. Once they exist in the admin portal, then we're able to add them to SharePoint groups. SharePoint groups are a collection of like users that have permissions um, set based on their group membership. So I can have a collection of users that are administrators that I give full control to the site. Full control is the permission level, and the administrators is the group that I'm assigning that permission level to. It's easiest to manage um, permissions in SharePoint inside of a group because then if anyone changes or leaves, I can simply add or remove users from that group instead of if I assign them directly with a person. If I say, Bob has administrative rights on this, if Bob leaves, then what do I do with that permission set? Whereas if I put Bob in administrator's group, if Karen comes along and needs the same rights as Bob, I can just put Karen in that administrator's group. So it's much easier to manage permissions once they're inside of a SharePoint group and then we assign that group permissions to the SharePoint site. Okay. By default there are going to be several existing groups that um, that are created whenever we create a new site that have varying levels of permissions. So we've got the site collection administrators and owners. Those are the users that have full control to the site. They're able to do whatever um, they need to do to configure and maintain the site. We have designers that have the ability to change pages and to um, change layouts and different things like that. And then we have contributors. Those are people that are able to add content to the site. And then we have visitors. And those are people who can just read the site and access and consume the data. So by default, all of these different groups exist and then we're able to add users and place them into these existing groups. In a future series we're going to talk about how we can create our own custom groups with our own unique permission levels if these don't meet our business needs. Okay. External users, those are ones that are not part of our organization that we're not going to manage a subscription license for and those are added um, from the site actions menu. We can simply select the link that allows us to share the site with them. Okay, we're ready to jump into a demo now, so I'm going to switch over and um, show you starting from the admin portal how we can create a new user. So from the admin portal in one of my shortcuts here, I have a link to add a new user. So I'm going to click on that and enter the information about the user. I can come down here and I can expand this and enter any additional details that I have about my user. And then I'm going to just keep hitting next to go through the process to create this user. And this screen is going to ask me about the admin permissions that I want to set for this user. It's important to note that these permissions are just for the admin portal. If I select yes here, I'm going to see the different ad, um, admin roles that I can have for my portal. This is if they want um, to administrate and configure Office 360 for all users. If I just want them inside of SharePoint, I would say no here because I don't need them to have admin rights on the portal. They can still have admin rights within a SharePoint site without having admin rights on the Office 365 portal area. Okay. Then I need to set the user's location. This is where I'm going to come down here and select, um, select my location and then I'm going to say next. Now I'm required to assign licenses. These are the user subscription licenses, and this is where I can say what, um, what features do I have through my licensing that I want to make available to this user. I can click Next here, and it's going to send the results in an email, and it's going to ask me where I want them to be sent and I can click create to create my user. This is going to complete the process of creating the user and it's going to show me their temporary password. So I can select finish here. Karen will also get an email here um, to the new email that I just created her and when she logs onto the site the very first time that she logs on she's going to be asked to reset her password to have a unique password. So we see that Karen is now one of the users in my admin portal. This means that I can now go to a SharePoint site and add her to one of the default SharePoint groups. So I'm going to click on one of my existing SharePoint sites and I'm going to go down to Site Actions, Site Settings, 
and I'm going to click on the link for site permissions. So I'm going to click on this page. We have an option in the ribbon called grant permissions. So I'm going to click on grant permissions and then I'm going to do a search for Karen. So I can click on this address book. I can come over here. I can search on Karen and I can find the Karen that I just created and I can say add and I can click OK. Once I do that, I'm going to be asked what permissions do I want them to have inside of SharePoint. I have two options here. I can grant them directly by adding them to an existing group or I can grant them um, directly and just say what level of permission that I want to have. So we talked about using groups and this is the preferred method and the best practice for adding users to a site. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say that I want Karen to have contribute rights to this site. Um, the final thing that I can do is I can send an email to Karen that's going to you know, say welcome to the group and then I can put in a personal message and whatever message makes sense and I can say okay. And now Karen is going to get an email that invites her to share, um, share content and contribute on the site. So if I come over here and I look at the members group now and I expand it, I'm going to see that Karen has been added to my group. So this is how I would create a user first in the admin portal. I would assign them a user subscription license and then I could go into my SharePoint site and I could add them to an existing SharePoint group. Um, the other thing that we wanted to show in this demo was how do I add an external user. This would be if someone outside of the organization, I want them to come in and collaborate and share data with us. Um, the first thing I need to do with that is I need to go back to my admin portal and I need to make sure that first my sites are enabled for external sharing. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on manage SharePoint and then I'm going to say manage my site collections. Once I click on managing the site collections and this page loads, I want to go under settings and look at manage external users. And I just want to make sure that this is set to allow. So this is one of the first steps that we have to do to ensure that we can um, share our sites with external users. Okay, so once that's done, we can go back into the site collection. And then from there, we want to come down here to site settings and we want to go to site collection settings and we want to make sure um, under the site collection features that we are able to um, share with external users. So we see that we have an option here for external user invitations and it is active. So we want to make sure that this is active in order for us to have the ability to share our sites with external users. So once those two things are set, we can simply go to the site actions menu and we can go down to the link that says share site. And when I click on that, I'm going to be able to enter in the live ID of any user that I want to have come in and collaborate and share content with us. Okay, I can either put them in the visitors group or the members group. So I can come over here and I can enter in a live ID. And then I can also write a message for them and that's going to show up on their invitation that's going to allow them to come and access the site. Once I do that, I can say share and then they're going to get an email with that information that's going to invite them to come and share and collaborate with us on our SharePoint online site. All right. So that has been our demo um, of how we can take external users and add them to our SharePoint site and how we can create new users in the admin portal and then give them access to existing SharePoint groups. So hopefully um, this has been helpful. It should get you started with uh, managing your users inside of um, SharePoint Online in Office 365. If you have any additional questions for me or you want to reach out and um, discuss more things about permissions, feel free to find me on my blog or on Twitter. So hope to talk to you soon. Thanks.